In episode one of using music to help students become more self-directed, I demonstrated how a musical cue could remind three students it was time for them to head out to the resource room. This time I'm going to use a three-note chime to remind every student to write his name on the assignment on which they're all working. It's a very familiar chime, you'll recognize it right away, and since it's not protected music, I was able to use a bit more of the footage from the final talk. When that demo is over, I'll come back and show you how I did it originally back in the day. Didn't need a sound system or technology. I was using just three little tone bars to send the same message. Anyway, check it out. See what you think. Here's another reminder song. Brilliant marketing campaign that they forever associated their their whole television production thing with those three notes. That still resonates for a lot of people. In our room, it didn't mean NBC. It was a reminder about putting name, number, date on your assignment. So what I would do is ring the bell, pass out the activity, let them get started, let it kind of settle in. There's no rush. Let it settle in a bit, a couple minutes into it. Then I fire up that cue. Oh, in one week, I had students out there going, name, number, date. <laughs> And we're eliminating a lot of that stuff, which doesn't work anyway. What I meant at the end by we're eliminating a lot of this stuff, which doesn't work anyway, is this. In many situations, a nonverbal cue beats a verbal one, hands down. As opposed to the teacher having to say, now don't forget to write your name on your assignments. And when you don't do that, I don't know whose paper it is, and you might not get credit for it, and blah, 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 blah. No, just fire up the chime. Very distinct. Cuts through all the verbal clutter resonates. It's a limbic brain kind of a thing. It's that kind of an association. Visceral. Gets right down to it. Name, number, date. They've got it. One week, they've got it. Here are my original tone bars. Found these years ago in the storage room, just collecting dust. Hadn't been used in who knows how long. So I thought I could use a couple of these. So I grabbed three, glued them together, left them on my desk, had a little mallet. So easy to use. No sound system, no tech, just good old percussion. Name, number, date, and no name papers were a thing of the past. Hey, thanks for watching.